Shofetim, Judges 15. But it came to pass within a while after, in the time of wheat harvest, that Shimshon visited at his woman with a kid, and he said, I will go into my woman into the chamber. But her father would not suffer him to go in. And her father said, I truly thought that you had utterly hated her. Therefore I gave her to your companion. Is not her younger sister fairer than she? Take her, I pray you, instead of her. And Shimshon said concerning them, Now shall I be more blameless than the Pelashitim, though I do them a displeasure. And Shimshon went and caught three hundred foxes and took firebrands and turned tail to tail and put a firebrand in the midst between two tails. And when he had set the firebrands on fire, he let them go into the standing grain of the Pelashitim and burnt up both the shocks and also the standing grain with the vineyards and olives. Then the Pelashitim said, Who has done this? And they answered, Shimshon, the son-in-law of the Timni, because he had taken at his woman and given her to his companion. And the Pelashitim came up and burnt her and at her father with fire. And Shimshon said unto them, Though ye have done this, yet will I be avenged of you, and after that I will cease. And he smote them hip and thigh with a great slaughter, and he went down and dwelt in the top of the rock Etam. Then the Pelashitim went up and pitched in Yahuda and spread themselves in Lehi. And the men of Yahuda said, Why are ye come up against us? And they answered, To bind Eth Shimshon are we come up, to do to him as he has done to us. Then three thousand men of Yahuda went to the top of the rock Itam and said to Shimshon, Know you not that the Pelashitim are rulers over us? What is this that you have done unto us? And he said unto them, As they did unto me, so have I done unto them. And they said unto him, We are come down to bind you, that we may deliver you into the hand of the Pelashitim. And Shimshon said unto them, Swear unto me that ye will not fall upon me yourselves. And they spoke unto him, saying, No, but we will bind you fast and deliver you into their hand, but surely we will not kill you. And they bound him with two new cords and brought him up from the rock. And when he came unto Lachi, the Pelashitim shouted against him, and the Ruach Yahuwah came mightily upon him. And the cords that were upon his arms became as flax that was burnt with fire. And his bands loosed from off his hands, and he found a new jawbone of an ass, and put forth his hand, and took it, and slew a thousand men therewith. And Shimshon said, With the jawbone of an ass, heaps upon heaps, with the jawbone of an ass, have I slain a thousand men. And it came to pass, when he had made an end of speaking, that he cast away the jawbone out of his hand, and called that place Ramath Lachi. And he was sore athirst, and called on El Yahuwah and said, You have given Eth this great deliverance into the hand of your servant, and now shall I die for thirst and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised?
but Elohim clave at a hollow place that was in the jaw, and there came water thereout. And when he had drunk, his ruach came again, and he revived. Wherefore he called the name thereof Ain Hachkor, which is in Lachi, unto this day. And he judged at Yasherael in the days of the Peleshitim, twenty years.